Hi, my name is Jamori Snipes, and I'm an actor, teaching artist, and advocate, a part of the group called Perfect City. And we're collaborating with Oya Group today to bring you Reading Corner. Today, I'll be reading a book called My Friend Earth by Patricia McClacken, illustrated by Francesca Senna. My Friend Earth is really exciting because it's about our relationship to the earth and all the things around us that we don't always acknowledge. I'm very excited to show you some of the amazing illustrations in this book. So, without further ado, here is My Friend Earth. My friend Earth wakes from a winter nap. She hears the busy spring sounds, the farmer's hoe tap-tapping in the garden, the cause of the crows. She sees the little, the silent seed, the spider spinning silver, the robin and the wrens. And the large, the long wind albatross crossing the sea, the mole tunneling in the underdark. She guides the chimpanzee to her night nest. And the zebra baby to find his mother in the hundreds of black and white striped mothers. She tends the prairie where the sun-dappled wild horses run through the grasses that swish against their legs. The tundra where the reindeers graze for moss and the glistening ice where the young polar bear pads on mittened feet. She guards all the creatures in all the oceans, the black manta rays sleek like shadows, the shining parrotfish, the tiny krill who swim with millions of other krills to look big, and the whales who are big. My friend Earth pours the summer rain to fill the streams flowing down mountains, through the fields, to the rivers, to the sea. Sometimes she pours too much rain, flooding towns and meadows and roads until she dries the land. Sometimes she blows fierce autumn winds sweeping the limbs of the trees and shingles from roofs of barns until she stills the wind so the red and orange and yellow leaves float to the ground when cold comes again my friend earth sprinkles the snow whispers silent covering the dens where the baby black bears are born in soft darkness, drifting over the icy pond where the turtle sleeps in mud, settling to the empty nest of birds. Under the white, the silent seed is cradled in dark soil, watching, waiting, to fly up again in the warm, bright sun of spring. The end. <laughs> and that was my friend Earth. Thank you so much for joining me today for Reading Corner. If you'd like to read more books with me, you can join me at oyagroup.org. Thank you.